So Pete, we're, we're here at Loughborough today, but you're a couple of weeks away from uh, a stint in Pakistan with Karachi Kings. What are you hoping to get out of your time out in Pakistan? Uh, I'm really interested actually. The franchise world is somewhere where I've not been. So it's, I think it's going to be a really interesting experience because you're going to come across, you know, different players, a different way of playing T20 in different conditions. And I'm hoping for me personally, it'll, it'll help me grow as a coach again because you'll see how, you know, different people go about it. I've been very lucky in my career in one, working in different counties, working internationally, speaking to thousands of players. Uh, and that's where a lot of the great information lies. It, it lies with those players really, because they're the guys that actually go on the field and got delivered. And T20 is a, it's a huge part of our season. Um, as is the championship, as is the 50 over. So, you know, I'm hoping to take a lot from it and hopefully I can give quite a bit when I'm there as well. Yeah, on top of taking things from the experience over there, are there parts of the, um, the outlaws ethos you'll be looking to impart over there? Well, of course, I've got, I've got my views on, on cricket and, they, you know, there's a reason they want me to go there is to give some of my views and, and share. But like Molesy, you, you know, you talk about it, you try and fit the environment you're in. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm actually also excited about, in some ways, here, um, it gives other people a chance to step up and do different things, certainly on the support team and the coaches uh, and the players. You know, we've got an important five weeks in the programme when I'm away where people are getting themselves ready to go in the tent and you know that that's that's going to be a really important time for us as a squad. Yeah let's let's take a look at that in fact the uh, the next few weeks we're here at Loughborough today to make use of their facilities what is the the objective in this block up to mid-February? Well I mean if the first block of our programme is really about exploring your game a bit and areas that you've learned over the season you need to get better this is really about refining the bits that you think you're going to start to use so um, you know, as our program runs through, it, it gets really to the point by the time we get in the tent, you've got to execute your skills well and be able to repeat them. This phase really is just building on that. So the bowlers will bowl more at batters. Um, there'll be more competitive stuff going on and it'll start to grow, building up to really that last phase of, this, of the program, which is in the tent and practice games, getting ready for the season. So. Uh, and the squads start to come together a bit. We're still short of some players because we've got players playing all over the world, um, which is part of the modern game. So um, that's exciting for them. But at some point later on, we pull everybody together and then it has a real squad and team focus. Yeah, and I know today there'll be, there'll be a middle practice here at Loughborough. How big a difference do you see in the group when those competitive fires start to come back? Well, Loughborough's great for us. One, it's down the road. Two, it's a great facility, but it means we can all be together at the same time. So, we'll, you know, we'll, they'll be doing gym work around the middle, but the middle practice, you know, we don't want the lads to actually go too hard for the first couple of weeks, but you just start to get a feel of what you're doing it for. And, and everything you do in training, really, for us, the important thing is you remember, you're only training for one reason, that's to play better and get better for this, you know, when the season comes. We've had some real good progress in the winters from a lot of our young players and senior players, and we've seen that come out in the seasons. You know, we saw last year the progression of people like your Lyndon James, Liam Patterson White, Joey Eversons, but we also saw progressions in, I think, in people like Brett Hutton, uh, Luke Fletcher, and some of our senior arm as well. So that's a really positive for us. We'll work just as hard this winter, I think, to try and get ready. We've got a massive season coming up. Um, and you know, um, you know, you, you pay attention to the fact that you know you've got to work hard in the winter because you know the other sides will be doing exactly the same so exciting for us because it starts to feel a bit more real after christmas um it won't be long before you know that season's on us and we, we're playing some competitive cricket and what was your assessment of the uh, the work done before christmas as well seemed like there was some more exploratory things going off maybe some players looking at shots and things that you don't get time to in the summer yeah, well, that's your chance, really. I mean, we've got some young players who, you know, they may focus on their basics and getting their red ball stuff ready and they wanted to do a little bit of white ball hitting or whatever. That's a good chance to do it. And then we get in this, I say, you've got to start to pick the things you've learned from that and what you're going to keep in your game to start to refine and get a bit better that you could use it in the season. So pre-Christmas, we did a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of base fitness work to build on that we can use in this phase. And also, um, you know, lads explored bowling-wise with shiny, you know, People talk about all these mysterious things like wobble seam and whatever, but they're real. They are real and they're skillful things to do. And we've, we've watched the Jimmy Andersons of this world who can basically, doesn't matter how you do it, but if you can swing it away, if you can also make it nip back, that's harder for, a, for anybody to face. So that's about, you know, exploring the craft of bowling or batting and also the basics that you need to become a repeatable performer. 
And as you say, not um, not all of the squad has been around in these past few weeks. And, and Joe Clark's a player you'll be reunited with in a couple of weeks' time in Pakistan. What have you made of his exploits down under so far this year? I mean, I'm really so pleased for Joe in some ways. I think Joe's grown a huge amount as a player. Um, but he got a tough start, you know, as you can do. You know, you go into a new environment, you're trying to impress. He got a couple of good balls, good catch. And suddenly he finds himself sort of three games in and he's, he's not got a score yet. And then to come out the way he did, still stay brave in how he plays his shots. Um, I think he's got four fifties in a row. Just shows the quality, I think, as a player he is now and how he held on to himself when it was tough, you know. And we've seen Ben Duckett do really well, which is fantastic to see, and Alex Hale. So lovely watching our lads play well overseas. Um, you know, and I'm sure fans, when they watch this, they sort of think, well, you know, will you not rather have them here and we're all working for knots all the time? It's the modern game, and actually they take a huge amount from those experiences. You know, we pride ourselves at trying to be good in all formats. Um, I'm a passionate red ball coach as well as my passionate white ball coach, and, and that I think everybody's got to accept that. We, at the moment you look at our game, um, and we see what's happened in the ashes and we want people to be in Red Bull all the time, but that, you know, that's not the way our game fits anymore. It's, it, it's, it's a global game now, certainly for the best players.